Today we'll be continuing the chariot coverage with an oft-forgotten unit of the High Elves, the mid-tier Ithilmar chariot. It's a unit that doesn't really, I mean, most people completely forgot it existed once the Lion chariot was released, but sitting at a mid-tier price point, <clears throat> excuse me, actually got a cost reduction in the most recent patch. Also, uh, it does have better mass than the Chaos Chariot we looked at recently, and is a similar cost. Now I believe it's, what, 950, something like that? But uh, yeah, 2700 mass. I want to say the Chaos Chariot was like 2100 or 2300, something like that. So it does have just a little bit more, and it seems to work a bit better. I mean, it does have a lot of the same drawbacks as the Chaos Chariot, but I believe it also has a weapon strength and charge bonus. We'll do a full comparison. Excuse me, full comparison after the fact, but of course today I'm up against Ryder Rohan with his High Elves. He's trying to take on triple Sacred Croc scores, so he's got triple Phoenix Guard. The uh, Ithamaw Chariots are going to act as sort of an anti-infantry support to this strong anti-large line. Got a Lariel to heal it. Surprisingly enough, despite how strong percentage-based heals are, you don't see Alariel super often because the other High Elf floors tend to be very strong. But I've also got some Archers, Lothurn Sea Guard here, and then for myself, uh, oh yeah, there's also the Dragon Prince Regiment Renowned Fireborn here. <clears throat> so, for myself, if I can fight through these spring allergies here, Mazamundi leading the way, we've got triple Sacred Croc scores plus the Cohort of Sotek. Cohort of Waddle, of course, is one of those Sacreds. Got some Feral Cold Ones here, some Chameleon Skinks, Skink Cohort with Javelins, the screen up front, so it's a pretty solid build overall. I've been really digging Sacred Croc scores recently, as you all should know, and in general, I think the High Elves actually don't have great responses for them. I mean, probably the best response is to try and maybe net and shoot them to death to something like Sisters of Avalorn, but that comes with its own inherent risk, but anyway... I'm missing how the Ithamar Chariot, see how it just plows through this line of skinks very easily? And granted, skinks are some of the lightest infantry in the game, but still, that was a pretty dense kind of block of skinks, and the Ithamar Chariot comes in and just does a huge amount of damage um, and is able to mostly escape before the Croc scores catch up. The Croc scores are going to get some attacks and start to stop up the models a little bit, but um, Rider Rohan's going to do a really nice job in continuing on with them. And not to mention, this does draw the Croc scores a bit out of position. Potentially opens up some lanes for the Dragon Princess to charge in. They're going to punch out and... Uh, doesn't look like they actually had a charge order against those uh, Chameleons, but... <clears throat> yeah, they at least impact and do a little bit of damage on those Chameleons there. And then, yeah, once they actually start doing attacks, you can see how much damage they start taking. Croc scores are going to roll through. I don't really mind, you know, all on all in with uh, multiple units on one infantry, especially anti-large infantry. It doesn't really matter too much, given everything. Also, we can kind of force a little bit of a blob here for Mazda Mudi to then try and detonate with that ruination of cities. We check in on our chariot friend here. You can see it's still kind of running around in the front line here. The Sacred Croc scores are doing a decent enough job at uh, catching it up. We're also going to unleash a banishment from Mazda Mudi in the back line. And uh, why not? I've got a full AoE damage kit, pretty much, plus Apotheosis, so we're going to throw down a Comet here as well. Rider Rohan's busy microing some other units, so uh, that Comet wasn't the best contact, but it does come in and do some fairly solid damage. He's busy trying to maneuver around this little uh, kind of obelisk thing here. The Fireborn eventually get caught out by Feral Cold Ones and Sacred Croc Scorns, just absolutely beat to pieces. But let's see, it looks like we're going to see a Flamestorm spin up from that... Fire Mage also in on uh, right of Rohan's build here. I'm going to do some nice damage to my infantry line. Just burn the cohort of Sotek to a crisp. But of course, that uh, shield the older ones will help my Sacred Croc scores trade. And especially the fact that the infantry are kind of getting weirdly filtered by this obelisk thing here. It's playing a pretty critical role. And uh, these Sacred Croc scores can get a much better engagement. But uh, the. Ithilmar Chariot did lose a model there. I believe it actually got routed off, but it's coming back in, getting set up for another run here. I, because I'm having to concentrate all my mass here to kind of um, fight in a big blob, the Chariot doesn't really have any uh, counters in this whole space here. So it can definitely just run out and start to run over my Chameleon Stinks. That 110 armor also will keep it from uh, taking too much damage, honestly. Yeah, for me, I think the Ithamar Loki is one of the best mid-tier chariots. We'll kind of get some cinematic view. 
of that fight unfolding and then swing on out here and watch as the uh, chariot runs over some of these poor skinks. Uh, yeah, definitely seems very solid. The armor's good, the weapon strength is good, the charge bonus is good, the mass is good, and the cost is not very high. Um, another thing, too, that someone else had pointed out in a comment recently is the width. Ithilmar chariots, I believe, actually have a larger footprint than the lion chariots, so they can actually impact more unit models at the same time, which just makes them actually deal more damage in practice, I believe, to unarmored units. <clears throat> I'm kind of take a look at their raw stats after the fact, but um, I need to get with some people and do some hard testing to figure out, like, really the state of which chariots need buffing and maybe some other ways potentially they could help them. But anyway, let's take the focus off the chariots for now and just focus on the Sacred Croc scores as I'm just avoiding the Phoenix Guard right now, using their mobility to kind of go through and smash these Lothurn Sea Guard and Archers. I mean, the lack of AP from the uh, Archers and Lothurn Sea Guard does mean that I'm relatively safe to do so. Meanwhile, Mazdamudi can just unleash some AoE magic damage, try and, you know, deal with these uh, Phoenix Guard at a distance rather than having to fight them in melee, and also just thin out all of the support, right? Because I'm, I'm fairly confident that with just this three Sacred Croc scores, as long as they're in good enough shape, we should be able to just blend through the Phoenix Guard in a late-game grind, but it does require me to take out the rest of the support units. That said, the Ithamar Chariot is just one Chariot unit with a couple of unit models. Trying to kill four units of Chameleon Skinks. Eventually, they're going to die to Overwatch Fire because they were all so damaged already. But not before they've accrued a pretty serious amount of damage. And uh, as they get routed off the field here, we can check. 1345, again, for like a 950 cost chariot. It's pretty good these days. Definitely very effective at running down some Skinks. Um, you know, but certainly the Ithamar Chariot has done enough of its job. The question is, can the Phoenix Guard do their job and finish off the large armored monsters, the hulking smashers that are the Sacred Crocs, of course? Unfortunately, Phoenix Guard are still halberd infantry, so I can just run the other direction and, uh, you know, pursue them with Skinks, try and get Mazda Mundi in range, you know, try and get other supporting units in range here, and then maybe charge in for a little rear charge with the, uh, the Crocs, scores, but... Yeah, Halberd Infantry, Eternal Weakness is just being outran, and even the Skinks can pretty easily outrun them here with their high speed. So, just kind of kiting them out a little bit, trying to get these units a little bit soloed out. Also trying to get these Chameleon Skinks in position to shoot while we're fighting, so we can provide that extra poison damage. And also just keep providing leadership and, and of course, HP damage as well. But here come the Sacred Croc scores again for another push. Again, a nice big multi-charge here from all angles, throwing Apotheosis, and it's a fist in time. Can also form up a nice little pocket for another Comet drop. So we'll watch his Mazda Mundi. You can see that Earth Blood from Alariel there. Alariel herself fighting in the blob, but gets, oh man, murdered along with my frame rate as that thing drops. She's gonna pop her last Heart of Avalorn. Most of these Phoenix Guard are just about at their healing cap anyway, so they're not gonna be able to receive much healing from it. Uh, to be honest, the last Phoenix Guard is also kind of caught out of position here, getting dragged down by Chameleons, and Mazumundi just chilling out in the distance with murderous intent, intent in his eyes. Somehow, I think of Mazumundi kind of like uh, Civilization's Gandhi, right? Like, seems to love nuking things. <laughs> uh, yes. Anyway. With the Phoenix Guard being finished off, it's just up to finishing off the High Elves' leadership, of course. I mean, also, you know, in both senses of the word. Their leadership units and the, their high leadership in general. I have to finish that off to finish the battle, of course, but the Sacred Croc scores have more than enough left in the tank. And we're able to get the job done. So, again, despite the Ithilmar Chariot certainly doing its job. I mean, it did its intended role well enough. It's just the rest of Ryder Rohan's build let him down a little bit. I definitely think the Sacred Croc scores are going to be a big problem for the High Elves. I mean, they don't have a lot of great counters for them. Um, really, just try to shoot them. It's going to be your best counter. But even then, their high mass and the ability for Lizardmen to kind of aggressively attack now, along with good support. It's going to be tough, I think, for sure. Um, I mean, sisters are going to be vulnerable to getting nuked by AoE magic, right? Um, they're going to be vulnerable to getting shot to pieces by Chameleon Skinks. So it's definitely an interesting matchup. I think maybe it's flipped against the High Elves. I definitely need to explore it a little bit more and see. I'm not 100% sold on that take. But in general, I would say 
the Ithilmar Chariot's definitely going to be a, a very good option for High Elves. 1345 value, 14,000 damage dealt. We'll check its cost and do some comps here at the end. But uh, the Fireborn also, despite being caught in a horrible position, were able to get some pretty good value themselves. The Phoenix Guard, though, were largely a letdown, despite even getting heal capped by Alariel, still were not able to get enough damage out. And that's one of the things I like, or I strongly dislike, I should say, against uh, uh, about Phoenix Guard, rather, is their low weapon strength means their damage is just not very good. Um, in comparison to other Halberd-type units of their class in that sort of elite tier. Uh, all the Sacred Croc scores are going to perform fairly well, especially the Cohort of Waddle with their debuff. Lose relatively little also. Mazdamundi getting some nasty AoE magic damage too, definitely contributed very well to this build. And then, of course, the Chameleons were more or less exactly cost-effective. Um, yeah, the Skinks were able to perform reasonably well Despite the Ithilmar Chariot doing so much damage to them, granted there was just the one Ithilmar Chariot, not a lot of other kind of anti-infantry units, right? So it's definitely an interesting one, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let's just quickly talk a little bit about Ithilmar Chariot, and I'm going to be covering some other chariots. Oh, not quest battle here. I've got uh, some other replays featuring some other kind of mid-tier chariots, and just in general I want to continue exploring this unit, unit space for some time. But, okay, so the Ithilmar Chariot is a unit that exists and is actually probably the best chariot for the High Elves now. Only 950 means it is considerably cheaper than the Lion Chariot. Again, Lion Chariot has better stats on paper, but not that much better. A less armor, but does pick up missile resistance. But again, I think the actual impact model is smaller for the Lion Chariot. So in practice, they may do less damage to unarmored infantry, especially. Um... Yeah, 54 weapon strength, 70 charge bonus. So if we compare that to the standard Chaos Chariot, you'll see that uh, significantly higher weapon strength. Um, and then the mass, of course, is also a big one. Yeah, 2330 for Chaos Chariots. And then it's, uh, yeah, as we saw, 2700 for the Ithilmars. So they are quite a bit heavier. Uh, Lion Chariots are heavier again still, but that that smaller impact model definitely uh, hurts their performance, I think. They might also have some animation issues. I need to kind of investigate that one a little bit more. But another Chariot, I think, that is reasonably decent for the cost, 850 points for the Skeleton Chariot. Yes, they have less stats overall. Still 80 armor, though, is pretty decent. Um, but, of course, they have lots of unit models, right? So they take up a lot of space. They can impact a huge number of unit models on one charge making their potential damage output very, very good. But also, you know, they are still fairly situational, as all chariots are, right? But, uh, yeah, definitely check out the Ithamar Chariot. If you forgot it existed, you're looking to use a chariot, especially as the High Elves, against an unarmored faction, I would definitely give it a go. And tell me what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.